So if you um, weren't aware already, this week is Mental Health Awareness Week. And something that sometimes, uh, you know, even in my experience, um, that we can forget about when you have a chronic illness is, is looking after your mental health, making sure that um, we're taking care of our mental health. Because when you have a chronic illness, often there's so much emphasis on the physical symptoms um, that, and that sometimes just it just takes priority and so it can get to a point and it's happened to me where you don't realize that actually your mental health might be suffering um, until actually it gets to a point where things have got quite bad so this is just going to be a very quick vlog in aid of mental health awareness week just to remind you that if you have a chronic illness, even if you don't, um, that it's important that we look after our mental health because it's, you know, that can feed in, it can feed into your physical health. It can have an effect on every part of your life. So employment, your social interactions, your family, the way that you feel about yourself. Um, but particularly if you're living with a long-term condition, um, especially one that can sort of change um, the kinds of things that you can do, um, the way that you feel about yourself, the way that you see yourself, the way that you know you think your future might pan out, that can all have um, an effect on, on, on mental health. Now if you are experiencing any issues there's, there is lots of help out there and I think it's really important that we talk about mental health because the more we talk about it, the more things are out in the open, the less stigma there is going to be attached to, to mental health issues. Um, for MS specifically, MS UK now has a free counselling service which is available to people who are affected by MS. So if you go onto the MS UK website, I'll try to remember to put the link into the description of this video, then um, you can access free counselling. MIND is a very good um, charity as well, an organisation where they can give you lots of um, help and advice and direct you in terms of the types of therapies that are available. And also um, Healthy Minds, um, so these it's um local mental health services which can often be you can you know be self referral you can be referred to your through your gp um that there, there is support out there and i've just mentioned a few when i do the description to this then i might try and put some more up as well the important thing to, to remember is that if you are going through mental health issues, you're not on your own. There's, there's lots of people who might be experiencing very similar things. And the important thing is, is to seek the support that you might need. Not everybody is comfortable about talking about mental health issues. Um, I went through a period following my MS diagnosis and it wasn't actually straight after my MS diagnosis, it was actually a few years after I was diagnosed and um, I, started to, I started to have mental health issues in terms of the way that I was coping with my MS diagnosis um, and I, I went for counselling through one of the MS therapy centres actually and found it incredibly, I found it useful. It was useful to be able to talk to somebody and to talk to somebody who was outside of the situation um, because sometimes I felt that I didn't want to talk to the people who were around me or who were close to me because I didn't want to worry them. And talking to somebody outside of the situation was actually really good because also you can, can get a different perspective. Um, and the, at the end of the day, these people are professionals and they've got lots of experience. Um, in helping people get through, you know, the various, you know, mental health issues that people might be experiencing. The other thing that I, I'd like to just um, sort of emphasise, because you know, obviously, because I do a lot to do with chronic illness, um, there is that thing about, 
you know, if you have a chronic illness, then it can affect your mental health. But there are also mental, when we talk about mental health, we're not talking about just only um, like depression and anxiety and things like that. We're also talking about things like OCD. We're talking about things like bipolar, schizophrenia, personality disorder. And it's really good that all of these things are coming out into the open um, but at the same time I'm very conscious um, and I'm very sensitive I think that's the right word um, to not trivializing things and it's very easy to do this because you know how many times have you know have you heard somebody say oh, yeah I'm a little bit OCD or yeah that's my OCD coming out when actually it's not actually OCD or oh I'm really depressed today because it's raining and actually no that's not that's not depression um and it's just to be aware that these are serious they're serious issues and they're serious health conditions for which there is help and there is support and you know they need to be it can be addressed um there was something else i wanted to say <laughs> now i can't remember what it was oh yes um i want to so sort of end this vlog on a um on a really positive and light note and that is that i think we should all remember to do a bit of self-love every now and then just care for ourselves care for our mental well-being i'm gonna stand up oh my knees <laughs> um just care for our mental well-being and that's about finding for me it's about being about finding things that i enjoy doing that may not you know doesn't have to cost a lot doesn't have to take a lot of time um one of the things that I love doing, I love just going out for a walk and listening to my music and people might look at me and think, oh dear, what's she doing? Because, you know, I'm listening to my music and I'm sort of dancing along, but it makes me happy. And, you know, it's the same with Zumba. I was actually talking to somebody the other day. This was going to be a short vlog, but it's already seven minutes. Um, but I think it's really important that we talk about these things and that, you know, and that I do share some of my experiences because it's I don't want people to think that my journey with MS with chronic illness and with mental health issues I don't want people to think that it's been easy because it hasn't been yes I you know I've I've come through things with a great deal of support and through learning what works for me what's been good for me and I know that I go on about Zumba a lot, but Zumba has, for that one hour during the day, so I normally do try and do Zumba at least twice a week, if not three times a week, but for that one hour, I can forget about everything and I'm so happy and I'm enjoying the music and I'm dancing and I'm doing something that I love. and. It's things like that that can really help our mental health because it gives us a bit of a respite from the day to day. You know, if you're experiencing issues, um, it can give you a bit of a respite, it just make you feel good in yourself. And just, yeah, it just gives you a bit of self love. Um, other things that I enjoy doing, I love just watching a movie at home and eating ice cream. I love when the weather's like this, I mean it's gorgeous today, I love coming out into the garden and sitting and reading a book. Um, I love walking and looking at people's gardens and looking at the, all the, you know, the flowers and the plants. I've actually, so growing up, so Growing up, I used to find gardening really boring and my dad would always say to me, come on, come on, come and help me out in the garden. I'd be like, no, it's really boring. But actually, I found gardening immensely therapeutic um, 
particularly after my MS diagnosis. And I just find it just really calming. And also, um, what's the word? Also really satisfying. And, that, and also, you know, it's like you're nurturing something and watching something grow and just being in nature and having you know greenery around you and flowers around you and vegetables i love growing vegetables and having that around you and being outdoors i find that that really helps me and yeah like i said it makes makes me happy um and so when the weather's like this particularly in the uk because we don't get let's be honest we don't get that great weather in the uk so when the weather is like this i I make the most of it and I'm outside and it makes me happy. So this Mental Health Awareness Week, um, that's what, um, what I would like you to do. I'd like you to do a bit of self-love. Um, go out, do so, you know, just do something that you enjoy doing. Do something which is going to make you happy. If you are experiencing issues, like I said, there are lots of organisations out there. Don't think that you're on your own because you're not. And there is lots of support out there. Um, I will try to put, like I said, some very, you know, various organisations um, if I can. Just because you can't see mental health, if that makes sense, doesn't mean it's not there. And it doesn't mean that we should be giving it any less importance to our physical health. Um, so, yeah, I hope that's been useful. And I hope that you found you know something in what I've said um, might resonate if it does um, or you've got your own tips and you know your own experiences then um, please comment like and share etc it helps me um, to know what people out there think um, and you know I love it when you guys comment um, so yeah, and then as always, um, if you want to follow me on, you know, Facebook, Instagram, etc. My Facebook is facebook.com forward slash Trishna Baradia 2015. Twitter and Instagram, um, it's both the same. It's at Trishna Baradia. And on YouTube, I need subscribers to get my own URL. That would make me really happy. Um, at the moment, if you put my name, Trishna Baradia, into the search box, then my channel will come up. So hit that subscribe button. And um, yeah, just happy Mental Health Awareness Week.